In this video, we're going to take a look at some import improvements that are available in Omega 4.0. So I'm in here in Composer and I'm going to go File, Import. And I'm going to import a job that was created in Adobe Illustrator. And this job has colors in it and some text and even a stroke. So I'm going to go select my job and I'm going to use my files of type AI7 through CS or I could even use all files and it'll automatically choose the proper import filter for me. I'm going to locate my file and then we have a couple of new things in this file import dialog box that we can take a look at. For starters we have spot color mapping. If I click on spot color mapping it brings up a dialog box that shows me all of the original CMYK or actually RGB colors in my file. Those are these colors on the left. And what I can do, I can click on auto map and it's going to automatically map these RGB colors to Gerber edge spot colors. So you see I have fluorescent red orange, trans green, light navy, purple, and kumquat. And if I don't like one of these colors, I can override the color that is going to map it to. So I'm saying, well, I don't really want this first color to be fluorescent, whatever. I want it to be intense red. So what I can do is click on this color, click in my list of available Gerber Color Foil colors, and then go find a new color that I want to use. So if I want to use intense red, I'll click on that. And now I have intense red, trans green, light navy, purple, and kumquat. And if I don't like these mappings, I can start fresh. I can click on clear mappings. And then I have no mappings. It's just going to bring these colors in just as uh, it's going to convert these RGB colors into CMYK colors. But if I want to go back again, I can say auto map. And I have my original colors back again. If in future, um, future import operations, I'd like to use a particular spot color for a particular RGB color, what I can do is click on the RGB color, map it to a spot color. So for this bottom color, I always want to use intense red for 238, 51, 56. If I click on this checkbox to the left of it, it's going to lock that color. So in future import operations, it's going to use intense red automatically for an RGB value of 238, 51, 56. And I'll click on OK. So there's my spot color mappings. Number two, another new feature in Omega 4.0 is the ability to import text from Adobe Illustrator or in other AI, EPS, or PDF uh, jobs. I can keep text as text. So you do that by clicking on Convert Text to Curves on or off. If you keep this off, it's going to maintain any uh, true type text as text when I import it through into Composer. So I'm going to keep this off so we can see both my spot colors as well as my true type text imported as text. Click on OK and there's my job. So let me take a look at it, F8 to show filled and I'm going to go to arrange and print order just so I can see what the colors are in my job. So I have kumquat, purple, light navy, trans green and intense red. So I can do more work uh, setting up in a program I, I might be more familiar with such as uh, Adobe Illustrator or as I'm importing in a PDF file from Word for Windows or whatever with lots of text it will import it in with my small text intact. Another thing just to show an example of something else that you might see uh, when you import text as text so I'm going to go File, Open, and import a, open a second job. And the second job is going to be a PDF file. So here's What's New in Omega 4.0 as text, which is the first page of the What's New document. I'm going to click on Open, and I'm going to convert text to curves, keep that off, so it's going to maintain text as text. And I'm going to click on OK. Because of some uh, mappings of... Um, of one type of text to another type of text from Unicode text into uh, the Gerber small text. In some cases not everything uh, will map automatically. So what we do if there's a question about this mapping of Unicode text to Gerber text we'll bring up the spell check dialog box. So I'm going to say OK, go, and you might see this uh, small text dialog box pop up. 
And here you see the entire first page of the What's New document. This, the formatting isn't perfect, but it sure beats having to have to go back and input all this text as small text if you would like to maintain this text as small text. So, okay, a couple import improvements. Mapping uh, RGB colors to spot colors and then importing text as text. And then finally, just to show uh, the other example again uh, in a slightly different way, I'm going to go uh, File Open and I'm going to go find my AI file, AI job again. And this time I'm going to import it with my text, not as text, but just as vectors. So I'm going to convert text to curves and I'm not going to do spot color mappings. It's just going to bring it in like it would have in Omega 3.0. So in this case, I'm going to have CMYK and notice that this is no longer small text. So I'm going to go to Arrange and Print Order and you see it's CMYK. So if you don't do anything different, then it won't do anything different. But you have the option to import RGB colors as spot colors and you have the option to, to uh, import text as text or text as shapes.